So, what's your big goal, dream, whatever? I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> What are stars for? What are stars for? Well, that is one tough question, sir. You know what? I think you're going to be one of those people who can actually come up with an answer for that kind of question. This is a missile traveling at five miles per second. It carries a nuclear warhead capable of destroying Manhattan. Now, who is there to protect these people from such an attack. Hmm? Anybody? We are. What did you say? I, I said we are. And, you know, if somebody were to, to like try to attack us, you know, we, we would protect ourselves. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Jose Hernandez, sir. Uh, it's my first day here. In what capacity? Lab engineer. Weisberg, get this guy in office. Get him to work now. Hi, um, I'm Jose Hernandez. Uh, there's a an office upstairs that needs a, uh, the bulbs uh, changed because you're, you're the new guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, the supply room is down to the right. You'll find everything you need in there. Here are all the keys. In the supply room, you'll find light bulbs, <laughs> bleach, mops, brooms, rags, Windex, all that good stuff. And there is also a supply closet on the sixth floor next to the ladies' room. Okay, um, I, I don't... Oh! And the third floor men's room needs toilet paper. When you get a chance. Okay. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. welcome. Um, one second. The one Hello. Hi, sir. Yeah, I'll be right there. Please just let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Okay, welcome. So, it's liver. Liver what? Nice, it's Lawrence. Livermore Labs. So what the hell is that? It's a federal research facility. Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like national security. And we're working on the, on the most sophisticated x-ray laser in the world. It could be potentially the, like this potentially, the single most important breakthrough in, for ICBM defense in decades. So, so, so guns. Huh? About the, we were just talking about lasers. And we're gonna put them on the orbit and save millions of lives if the Russians were to attack. If the Russians were to attack. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty crazy, man. You know everything your mother and me did for you, right? No, I know. No, I know. Everything I know. we gave up. No, I know Gilles, everything. I know, Java, no, no, I know, Leti. no, I know everything. I know you lost the house in Michoacan because of me. Okay? Do you have to bring it up every single time we have a beer? It just gets heavy. Fuerte. We gave up the house. It was for your education. Wow, I just, I just bought a new car. Yes, you did. Congratulations. I didn't know, um, I'm Jose. I'm Adela. Adela. So what kind of car did I buy? I, I, was, I was distracted, you know, I was confused. Oh, you don't know what kind of car you just bought? No, I could You want to look at the paperwork? No, I could have got a delivery truck for all I know. Oh, you did? <laughs> you bought an old UPS truck. Oh! <laughs> Doors sold separately. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> um. I don't, I know this, I mean, it's awkward, but. And you're in the middle of a work and everything, but um, you know, if at some point, like, you know, it doesn't have to be like a, like a, you know, it doesn't have to be like a official or 
like a. I forget it. Well, I would love to go on a date with you in your dusty old delivery truck, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Sign yeah. here. Yeah. Because you would have to meet my father first. Oh, no, hey. No, I'm, I'm good with that. Good. Then at your own risk, Jose. Mr. Sturko? Sturko. Mr. Sturko, Mr. Sturko. Yeah. I'm Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I, I, um, I, I decided to personally bring in my application this year. Oh. Where'd you fly in from? Uh, Stockton, California, sir. You could have just mailed it. I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I could have, but I, I wanted to, to meet you and hand it to you personally. All right, Hernandez. This is going to be your 11th attempt. And I appreciate your persistence, and I thank you for coming all the way down here, but I really wish you'd have saved sir, yourself the sir, air there. Sir, sir, if I may, if I may. This is my strongest application yet, and this would be my, my 12th attempt, not my 11th. OK, let's hear it. I'm sorry, sir? What's changed? What's different this time? I, over the course of the last 10 years, uh, Every academic, professional, and personal decision I've made, I've made with the space program in mind. Sure. I have my master's in electrical engineering. I, uh, I'm a pilot now with over 800 hours under my belt. I have my scuba diving certificate. I just ran the San Francisco Marathon. I, wow. And I speak Russian, sir. I, 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 in fact, I volunteered to travel to Siberia as part of the transparency program for the US Department of Energy. I'm the father of five most perfect children, and then the husband of a, the most incredible wife who threatened to leave me if I didn't come here today. Um, I've applied 12 times, and yes, sir, I've, I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection, but you know what, sir, here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. All right, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you, sir. Travel safe. Are you sure, bro? Uh, yeah. What we're trying to accomplish here is dangerous. Having a clear mind during an emergency is imperative. The safety divers are there to assist you if needed. Don't fight the suit, Hernandez. Show me how to land this thing. 
Yes, sir. Clear Richmond via Vectors to Houston. Fly runway heading down 6,000 feet. Approach 120.9. Thank you. Now release your mic, Hernandez. Your mic is still hot. Yeah. Release the mic, Hernandez. Well, it's stuck, sir. What do you mean it's stuck? It can't be. Let it go. You're tying up the power. I'm trying, sir. Well, I can't. The button's stuck. Release the mic, Hernandez. I'm trying, sir. You're here today because, against our expectations, NASA has cleared a new shuttle launch, and we want to get things moving before Washington changes their mind. We understand that the Columbia crew were your friends. So we need to know, would you be up for the task? Bananas, we need to hear out loud. I'm sorry. Uh... You're being assigned mission specialist number two. You'll be right up front between me and the pilot. That okay with you? I waited for almost 30 years, so. All right, good looking, Godspeed. Thank you, Walter. <laughs> 